A half century ago, the world was on the verge of a daunting new era. The threat of global communism, the rise of strategic nuclear weapons, and a growing fear of mass starvation, overpopulation, and depletion of natural resources. To confront these challenges, Herman Kahn and Max Singer founded Hudson Institute in 1961. It was to be a new kind of research organization that would give policymakers the vision, ideas, and confidence to confront and solve the problems of the day. Kahn's research was unconventional and broad-based. While others saw nuclear war as inevitable, Kahn and his team of intellectual leaders presented bold new concepts to discourage attack and maintain deterrence. When others ignored the potential of innovation, Hudson foresaw the rise of the information age and showed how technology can drive economic progress, fostering freedom and global prosperity. When conventional wisdom said that mankind was entering an era of decline, Hudson forecast that ingenuity and market forces would make food and energy more affordable and abundant and medical technology would lead us to live longer and healthier lives. Hudson scholars saw beyond the international status quo to a dynamic world of shifting geopolitical landscapes. When many in the West thought Asia was an irrelevant backwater, Hudson was among the first to predict Japan's rise as a leading economic power. When Soviet communism seemed eternal, Hudson helped shape the policies that secured victory in the Cold War. After the collapse of communism, Hudson's forward-looking research provided the post-Soviet states of Central and Eastern Europe with strategies for building civil societies and free markets. Hudson research is always recognized that the most important form of capital is human capital. Hudson's milestone studies on the workforce detailed the increasing importance of brain power and called for education to meet the need for high-skilled labor. When swollen welfare roles seemed a permanent feature of American society, Hudson designed Wisconsin Works, a historic program that was the model for landmark federal welfare reform legislation and gave employment opportunity and independence to millions. In the post 9-11 era, drawing on Hudson tradition, we have assembled the most talented team of researchers in the world. Focusing on the ideological character of Islamic radicalism, we help national and international leaders understand the threat of radical Islam and terrorism and how it can be countered. Our scholars work to promote freedom and human rights, especially in the face of religious persecution. Today, our path-breaking work continues. Economic research promoting growth, trade, innovation, and prosperity. Work on American institutions and ideals, guided by the principles of America's founders. Studies on philanthropy that measure the extent and effectiveness of private faith-based assistance empowering individuals. International security remains at the heart of our research, promoting a strong America and democratic allies. We face challenges no less daunting than a half century ago. Much of today's conventional wisdom remains gloomy. But Hudson follows the footsteps of Khan and his team and remains guardedly optimistic, determined to find solutions to intractable problems through innovation, free markets, individual responsibility, and American leadership. Hudson is recognized throughout the world for its bold intellectual leadership. With a broader team of scholars than at any time in the past, many of whom have served in senior positions in the federal government. From our founding days in Croton on Hudson, to our years in the heartland, Indianapolis, to Washington and New York today, with a greater number of former senior level defense strategists than any other think tank, 
a renowned team of economists, and leaders on American culture and institutions. Our unique forward-looking research is tuned to the priorities of the next 50 years, forging ideas that promote security, prosperity, and freedom. Hudson's work is as needed today as it was in the beginning.